Also looking ahead to an event aimed at helping a young boy from Barville. We have been following the story of Tyler Seddon all month as a six-year-old is continuing to battle leukemia. Today, people are going to be rolling up their sleeves to offer Tyler a very special gift. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Land joining us live in studio now with more. Good morning, Patrick and Danielle. Six-year-old Tyler Seddon is waking up this morning to continue his second battle against cancer. This is all happening just days ahead of his seventh birthday, which is why today more people across the state and nation are stepping in to help. Tyler has leukemia. Last month, the Burville boy received an outpouring of cards and encouragement from police officers and firefighters nationwide after an online video about him posted by his mom went viral. Tyler relapsed back in November and now needs a bone marrow transplant. He currently does not have a matching donor, but today local firefighters will hold a blood drive and marrow registration in his honor. The drive will be held from 2.30 this afternoon to 7.30 p.m. in Pasco, Fire Company House 1. The six-year-old has already used more than 200 units of blood and will need more transfusions. Now, if you plan to attend Tyler's Blood Drive, you have to visit Rhode Island Blood Center's website to make an appointment first. And coming up at 6.30, hear how many Rhode Island police departments are planning to make his birthday on March 6th extra special. Shante Lands, Eyewitness News. And for more information on how to support Tyler's troops and details on the blood drive today and also details on his birthday celebration, head to our website, WPRI.com.